When I want to find an x-intercept or a y-intercept, an x-intercept has an x value and then the y is zero because it intercepts the x-axis and notice you didn't go up or down, so your y value is zero. Where a y-intercept now, your x is zero and then you have some y value. And so if I want to find, if I have y equals negative 4x plus 4, and I want to find this x-intercept, I set y equal to 0, and I solve this equation now for x. So I could do that by adding 4x, just doing the algebra here on both sides. So I get 4x equals 4. And now I can divide by this 4, and I get x equals 1. So this would be 1 comma 0. And now for my y-intercept over here, uh, again, I start with my formula. The y-intercept's uh, uh, typically easier, especially if this is solved for y, because now you set your x to 0. And so, of course, that is 0, and I get this, so that would be 0, comma 4. And now you want to go graph it. So I have 1, 0, and 0, 4, if I can remember that. 1, 0, and 0, 4. And to plot this, I click on the little drawing tool here, and I just plot the point. So at 1, 0, which you can see I'm on the x-axis, and at 0, 4, and that's it.